Item number RPC-128. Designation, The Hungry Earth. Object Class, Alpha. Containment Protocols, RPC-128 is to be monitored by authority vessel Swift Steel, six kilometers off its coast in a clockwise orbit. All air and sea traffic in an 80-kilometer radius is to be monitored and given detours under the cover of high levels of radiation. If the warning is not heeded and acted upon, the swift steel is to apprehend and administer level 3 amnestics and direct to the nearest populated landmass. Under no circumstances are any personnel besides D-Class allowed onto RPC-128. All violators are to be immediately extracted and demoted to Class C for one month. Description RPC-128 is an island located 300 kilometers off the coast of South America in the Interoceanic Highway. RPC-128's landmass is approximately 8 kilometers wide and 6 kilometers in length. Various soil samples taken from RPC-128 indicate its entire landmass has a pH of 2. Due to RPC-128's high acidity, there is little vegetation. No known satellites or aircraft traveling at an altitude above 2 kilometers can detect RPC-128. Humans and other mammalian species that walk on RPC-128's surface shall be referred to as RPC-128-1. RPC-128 uses a mimetic lure to draw in those that are in close proximity to it in a two-kilometer radius from its landmass. Once RPC-128-1 traverses approximately three kilometers inland, RPC-128 will through means unknown as of yet, raise its temperature to 55 degrees Celsius in an attempt to incapacitate RPC-128-1 as it is now, free from RPC-128's mimetic lure and will attempt to escape from its landmass. Once RPC-128-1 succumbs to a mixture of heat stroke and acid burn, RPC-128 will summon gusts of wind to cover its prey in its acidic soil. Once RPC-128-1 is effectively digested into the soil, a tree of the genus Malus Silvestris will rapidly grow in place of the digested corpse. These trees seem to be immune to RPC-128's acidic nature and will bear fruit. Addendum 01. RPC-128 was first brought to the authority's attention when it was sighted by authority security forces using the now-defunct ASF vessel Swift Retribution in the year Redacted Text by the late Captain Edward Olson. While on a routine patrol for signs of Redacted, the Swift Retribution spotted RPC-128 and sent a team of four ASF to run quick reconnaissance as per ASF Exploration Protocols A4. Time log. 30 minutes. The scouting team was seen sprinting towards the ship. 34 minutes. One ASF scout. Now RPC-128-1 collapsed. The three remaining ASF were unable to carry RPC-128-1 as a sandstorm began to brew. 40 minutes. Two ASF can be seen limping towards the shore, one dragging the other. Captain Olsen sent a retrieval squad, along with medical officer, Redacted. to assist the two remaining ASF. 43 minutes. The retrieval team assists the scouting team onto lifeboat and return to the ship. 50 minutes. After situating the scouting team in the med bay, soil samples are collected from scouting team and secured in cargo bay. 1 hour 23 minutes. Captain Olson proceeds to return to Site 09 with details of RPC-128. End log.